Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tim McBadge, a fashion and beauty photographer based in London, UK. So today I'll be doing a follow-up video on my dodge and bone retouching because um, I got a couple of videos on my channel right here that talks about the way I tend to like do my dodge and bone. So um, today I'll be teaching you guys on how to do dodge and bone using the negatives, like uh, using the invert check layer. So guys, I'm going to go to my, um, I'm going to play the action. If you don't have this action, I could put the link down below on where to download this action from. So I'm going to play this action right here, as you can see, dodge and run retouching. You can click on it and then when, as it pops up, I would move down to the invert check layer, as you can see right here. Invert check layer is going to like, you know, turn it um, more like a black and white but to negatives. But then I would go down to the um the levels in the invert check layer to be able to like see more details on the skin so i'll click on my levels and adjust the mid tones so i can see more details on the skin so i can see the white and the black on the skin so i'm going to go down to the first dodge and bone we have different layers here you have the first dodge and bone second dodge and bone third and bone, bone which is the global dodge and bone so the way the invert check layer thing it works is you would have to be able to like anywhere you see white dots on your subject skin like let me say like white patches or something on your subject skin you have to paint using the dodge you need to because you know obviously when you're painting normally like if you're dodging dodge means brighten but in this part because you're inverting it you need to actually use white to paint on white so it's look dark i know it's a very very weird way for you to be able to like think about i can tell you that when you try it the first second and third time you actually get used to this so i'm going to move down to my dodge menu anyway i see white patches i paint the dodge and bear in mind you need to make sure your brush is white because you know obviously white reviews which is like because i'm painting on it um i'm painting on a mask so i'll have to paint white on the white patches and also remember you need to use a soft brush and <clears throat> after using a soft brush and you could tend to like start your flow at about three percent your opacity at about hundred percent that works fine by me but if i feel i want to like do something real fast because um, i've gotten used to it with time so i can start to increase my filter about five percent this white patches right there that is the patches i want to like take off all of these white dots i can see on her face i want to like paint white on it so it will look like the other skin too i'm going to do this with white and i also good i'm also going to do it on the black so I think I'll have to speed up this video so I don't waste nobody's time to like show just to like show you guys the end result at the same time. But I'm going to paint on the white. I'm going to work with the dodge menu this time. Dodge painting white on white. So guys moving on to the burn i'm going to use the same white brush because obviously you know we're painting on a mask i'm going to use i'm going to paint on the black patches on the skin so yeah sometimes it might be like really hard for you to see the black patch but like you can see some parts are actually like darker than the other so but the idea behind you doing this is remember you're you're retouching the skin so you need to make everything on the skin looks uh, look even sorry um what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to take the burn menu and I'm going to paint on the part that I can see that the, they're looking darker than others in the same region. I don't know if you guys are going to understand what I mean. I'm going to paint on the dark part with the um, with the burn. <laughs> Sorry, it's really hard to like explain this in inverted. You get me, but I'm trying my best to like explain to you guys. I I hope um, you guys are gonna understand this. And if you don't understand anything, you could actually just drop me in comments and like I could go more in depth to this. So yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. But I can tell you really, yeah, you, you might be working more on the dodge layer. Maybe because this is like a, a light skin model, that's why it's this way. But I will tell you, yeah, I tend to like work more on the dodge layer to like fix stuff. So, and moving on, you can see what I've done right here using the burn. And you can see what I've done using the 
um, dodge only you can see the paintings i've done i paint with a really small brush this is more like the micro dodge and bone you get me so when i'm done with this one i move on to the second you can see there's a second folder right here which is also dodge and bone too so what i do with this dodge and burn too is basically i just want to like you know the other one we really zoomed into about 200 percent to 150 percent so the second one right here i'm going to do the same thing but this time i don't do it inverted i could decide to do inverted just it's your choice here yeah? So I could decide to do this one as just like a black and white layer. I'm going to paint on the images this time. I want to like blend the skin tone together. I know it might feel like oh it's a whole long walk to do like it's a hassle. But I tell you yeah, with time as soon as you just get used to this, you would enjoy doing it and you can finish retouching a picture in about an hour or like an hour 30 minutes, which is like really fine by me because of the output you're gonna get. So I'm going to like you know do the same dodge and burn again just using the black and white layer. Then after I'm done doing this, I'll move on to my global dodge and bone as you can see I'm doing here, which is where I'm going to like paint highlights where highlight is meant to be shadows where shadow is meant to be, you know, like more like the normal makeup artist kind of you get me here. Yeah? So I'm gonna paint highlights on the forehead, highlights around the cheek line, you get me highlight on the nose area, and you know, burn the around the nose, burn around the cheekbone. That's all I'm gonna do on the global. And after that, you guys can see right here, this is the before of the picture, and here is the after, as you guys can see right here. You can see we've done, it looks as if we aren't doing nothing at all when we're like editing this picture. But you can see the whole of stuff we've done just doing this. So um, guys, if you love the video, kindly subscribe to my channel and um, press the notification icon to get notified anytime I drop a video. And if you think, um, you still want more in-depth video about this because i could always do another video that would explain more better but i think this explanation is well it's good enough you could actually just slow the video down and replay just to be able to get what i mean but with time as soon as you could do one two pictures you actually understand what i'm saying the most so yeah guys ciao bye